Hey everyone, how are you today? Beautiful sunny day here. I thought it'd be a good good time to show you how to tie the trucker's hitch. It's a great knot for doing a ridge line, primarily for a ridge line, for a tarp, for or even tying something down. If you have a vehicle and you want to lash over top uh, and make sure that something, maybe you have a pickup truck and you want to lock down your load, this is the perfect knot for you. Anyway, let's go for a walk. I have, uh, oh, I don't know, 50 acres back behind my house. We can find ourselves a couple of trees and go have some fun with it. Uh, that'll be in tandem with a slip knot, of course. So I'll show you how to do both those knots. I'll also show you how to anchor two ends of it so that you can take advantage of working with a tarp very easily. We have two ways of doing this. One way is to create a knot to, well, so we're gonna, I don't know if you've seen the video I did of the uh, Bolin, Bolin knot, but we can certainly use a Bolin knot to anchor this and either use a carabiner or, or just create, use a toggle and do it that way. So you remember how we did a Bolin knot. We flipped, I'll bring this in close. I, I hope you remember this. We did this the other day. The bowl and knot is where you come over the top of this right you come back underneath here you go around it and you come back back down through the hole and then you just take that and tighten that that's a bowl and knot very tight you can take a carabiner now just take the carabiner put it around put it around your tree and as long as there's tension on the knot boom it's strong, it'll hold. If you want to wrap that around a couple times and then bring it back through the carabiner, that's fine too, that works great. This is what I do with most of mine. It's just easy, it's quick, it's, it's stress-free, you know. The other option is, or at least one option you can do, is to grab a toggle. So when I say a toggle, what I mean is something like a little stick like a little stick like this, and just take the, the rope, loop it through, put the toggle in, and, and pull the rope tight. So these are, these are two ways to do that. There, there's a few ways to do that, but let's just leave this like this for now, and let's go over and do the other end of the trucker's hitch. The first part of doing this is, is creating what's called a slip knot. I do it by just grabbing this, making sure I make a loop here, and on the top part, I just reach through, grab that rope here, and pull it back, and you have what's called a slip knot. And when, it, when I say slip knot, that means that it literally slides. This can be made bigger and smaller. Now that we have our slip knot, which we can now work with, we bring our line around the tree or whatever anchor point you want bring it through set it right where you want now you can just take this and you can pull this as tight as you want i promise you this ridge line ain't going anywhere and then you just tie it off you just take it and you can either do little half hitches with loops or or you can do a double for a quick release, pull it back towards the hitch, right? Now you've got this loop end here, which you can pull through as much as you like. And you can actually now create another half hitch to lock it. And this is, a half hitch is just what we did as children. You just make your little loop, create a bite with the two, the two pieces, bring those through like so, pull them back towards, towards the, uh, towards the end and boom, you've got it. And it's tight, it's perfect. Releasing it is easy, you just pull that, take that, pull that, undo this, and then you just take that and just pull that. And your slip knot is gone, everything breaks down. You can reuse that rope for anything you want trucker's hitch. It's a great, it's a great uh, knot to know. 
uh, in combination with a slip knot, it's, it's even better. It's great around camp. Using that with, the, with what I was showing you earlier with anchoring the other end of the line to another tree or another, any point you want. Um, and it's, it makes life much easier for us on trail. So I hope this helped. Um, the next step to this, and I'll put this in a different video because I want to do it in smaller chunks, is to uh, work on the Prusik. The Prusik is to actually bind your tarp to your ridge line. Let's go get it.